हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू द चैप्टर टू टाइप्स ऑफ हार्डवेयर पार्ट फोर टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टीच यू आउटपुट डिवाइसेस वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ आउटपुट डिवाइसेस इन डिटेल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द आउटपुट डिवाइसेस लेट अस नो व्हाट इज आउटपुट so output is a process of producing the useful information or the result for the user such as a printed report or visual display the process usually follows certain steps the first step is a signal is sent from a input device to the computer for example the user clicks with the mouse on the play button of a video second step is the computer processes the input and sends a new signal to the output devices for example monitor and speaker and third step is the output devices receive the signal and display the output for example the monitor shows the video and the speaker runs the audio signal you can see in this uh, uh, diagram there is a data that goes through the input unit to the cpu that is the central processing unit and after the process it goes to the output unit and output unit display it in the form of information now we'll see output unit or output devices output unit consists of the devices with the help of which we get the information from the computer and this unit is a link between the computer and the users output devices translate the computer's output into the user's understandable form some of the important output devices used in a computer are monitor printer plotters projectors speaker headphone etc we will start one by one in detail so let's start with the monitor monitors commonly called visual display unit that is vdu are the main output devices of a computer it forms the images from tiny dots called pixels that are arranged in a rectangular form the sharpness of the image depends upon the number of the pixels there are various kinds of the monitors like crt monitors that is cathode ray tube lcd monitor that is liquid crystal display tft monitor that is thin film transistor plasma monitors touch screen monitors and oled monitors that is organic light emitting diode monitors so one by one we will see in a detail so let's start with crt monitors CRT monitors or CRT display is made up of a small pictures element called pixels the smaller the pixels the better the image clarity and or the resolution it takes more than one illuminated pixels to form a whole character this CRT monitor is one of the oldest technology used by the monitors and is based on the cathode ray tube technology that was developed for television these monitors are made with better part which gives much higher display resolution and the picture sharpness than the television this type of monitor is no longer popular you can see the display picture here how the crt monitors work so in a crt monitors there is a phosphor layer uh, screen and at the back there is a uh, base and this base have a electron gun which eliminates the cathode rays this cathode ray passes through a tube and get deflected over the screen and this phosphor layer glow and create the pixels there are some disadvantages of crt monitors number 1 is it is heavy and a large in size number 2 it has a high power consumption and number 3 is it uses lot of disk space now we'll start the second type of monitor that is lcd monitor lcd monitor the most common type of the flat panel display and it is a new technology than crt liquid crystal display that is the lcd is a type of the display technology that makes use of liquid crystals that opens or close when electric current is passed through it this liquid crystal is a material that has the property to polarize light depending on the electric charge these liquid crystals are the basis for lcd technology you can see in this picture 
at the back there is a backlight source and in the middle you can see there is a liquid crystal and the both side of the liquid crystal there is a, a negative and a positive electrode and the electric charges are passed through it when the electric charges are passed through liquid crystal a liquid crystal get polarized and generate the pixels and this pixel will generate a image there are certain advantages of uh, liquid crystal display monitors that is lcd monitors use less dex space and are lightweight and use less electricity than crt monitors they also work as a touch screens in tablet computers mobile phones and other handheld technologies we will move to the next monitor that is a tft monitor tft stand for thin film transistor this is a type of lcd flat panel display screen in which each pixel is controlled by from 1 to 4 transistors the tft technology provides the best resolution for all the flat panel techniques but it is also the most expensive one tft screens are called active matrix lcds you can see in this picture there is a uh, transistor sheet is there and this transistor sheet is used to generate the pixels in tft monitors there are certain advantages and disadvantages of tft monitors the advantages are number 1 it is known for their very clear and a vibrant color and second advantage is it consumes a less power so it is very environment friendly and third is it is much smaller and easier to handle disadvantages are number 1 the viewing angle are usually not that great and the lead to distorted images second disadvantage is usually it has a static resolution that means the resolution of the monitor cannot be changed now moving to the next that is a plasma monitors a plasma display is a computer video display in which each pixel on the screen is illuminated by a tiny bit of plasma or charged gases and somewhat like a tiny neon light plasma display are also known as thin panel display and can be used to display either analog video signals or display the mode digital computer input this plasma display are thinner than the cathode ray tube that is a crt display and the brighter than the lcd monitors that is liquid crystal display plasma display offers a very wide viewing angle therefore plasma display come in conventional pc display size and also in a size up to the 60 inches for the home theaters next we will see the touch screen monitors a touch screen is a computer display screen that is also a input device the screens are sensitive to pressure a user interact with the computer by touching pictures or words on the screen resistive touch screen panels are not affected by outside elements such as dust or water you can see the picture here of touch screen in a touch screen a light emitting diodes are there when we touch the screen a light beam causes a drop in the signal received by the light detectors and this way a pixels a particular pixels have been selected the touch screen enables the user to interact directly with what is displayed rather than using the mouse or the keyboard touch screens are common in uh, devices such as uh, game consoles personal computers electronic voting machine and the point of sale that is pos system the next uh, type of monitor we'll see that is oled monitors oled monitors are the flat display which consists of pixels made from oled that is organic light emitting diodes rather than the liquid crystals oled does not require the back lighting to function the principle of this technology is that when current flow between the cathode and anode an emissive layer you can see in the picture an emissive layer of the organic molecule and these molecules are made up of polyalanin a uh, green in diagram you can see that is placed between these electrode can become illuminated a layer known as the conductive layer that is orange in in diagram is made up of the organic plastic molecules such as polyphorin 
lies between the emissive layer and the anode. The color of the light emitted from the emissive layer depends upon the organic material of the molecules within. Like LCD, OLED units are also made up of pixels of different colors. The brightness, that is light intensity, of the OLED is proportional to the current applied to the cell. Now you see the printers. So printer is an external hardware output device that takes the electronic data stored on the computer or other device and generate the hard copy that is the printout of it. Printers are one of the most popular computer peripheral and are commonly used to print text and photos. The speed of the printer is measured in pages per minute that is ppm. Printers are categorized into two types. Number one is impact printers and number two is non-impact printers. Impact printers are the printers having mechanical support between print head and a paper. For example, decibel printer, dot matrix printer. Non-impact printers are the printers not having mechanical contact between print head and a paper. For example, inject printer, laser printer, thermal printer, electrostatic printer. Let's see the pictures of the different types of printers. Let's see the impact printers. The picture of decibel printer and dot matrix is given. Let's see the non-impact printers. Non-impact printers are uh, inject printer, laser printer, thermal printer and electrostatic printer. Now we'll see the next output device that is plotter. A plotter is also like a printer. So plotter is a graphics output device that is used to create the drawings on the paper. There are two types of plotter. One is a paint plotter and number two is the photo plotter. A paint plotter is an electromechanical device having a pen. You can see in the picture. A pen is moved in a two dimension that is up down and left right across a paper or a film media to create output. The second plotter that is a photo plotter, it uses the fiber optics technology to produce the image on the dry silver paper. You can see the picture here. Now you see the next output device that is a speaker, one of the popular output device. So a speaker are one of the most common output device used with a computer system. So a speaker receives the sound in the form of electric current from the sound card and then convert it into sound format. You can see in the picture, this is a sound card which receives sound with a mic and this sound card sends the sound to a speaker. A speaker receives the sound in the form of electric current from the sound card. The speaker then convert that electric current into a sound format. So some speakers are designed to work specifically with the computers while other can be hooked up to any type of sound system. Now let's see the next output device that is projector. A projector is an output device that can take the images generated by a computer and produce them by projection on the screen, wall or another surface. We could use the projector to show the presentation on a large screen so that the everyone in the room can see it. The digital projector was created by Jenny Dolgov in 1984. So there are the various areas where projector can be used. So projector can be used in a different ways today. It is used to project a PowerPoint presentation at a, a business meeting. Project a computer screen to teach the class in a school. Project a TV or computer with a movie playing to a large screen. To demo a product or a service at a convention center. It is also used to transform a wall, house or another object to give it a different appearance. So this way a projector plays an important role. So this is all about the output devices. If you find any difficulty in understanding or if there is any doubt, please do write in a comment. I will reply to your query. So watch the video again and prepare your notes. We will meet again. Till then. Stay home, stay safe, thank you.